Hey everybody, it's Scott Smith, Russ Knack BMW in Southern California. Check out this awesome convertible M4, brand new in stock. This one's got the 19 inch upgraded wheels. M performance brakes are gonna be standard. This one's in your mineral white metallic. As you know with the M4 convertibles, you've got a modified ground effects that are standard with the vehicle. See here, we didn't put the front license plate on just to keep an awesome look. If the owner wants it on, we'll put it on. Let's move to the back of the car. This has got 426 horsepower, 406 foot pounds of torque, 0 to 60 in 4.4 seconds. Let's get a little rev time with Katie. Awesome, doesn't that sound sweet? Cool, thanks Katie. Thanks Scott. You're welcome. So what do you like about the 4 Series? I love the power, I love the engine, I love the hard top convertible. It's nice, in bad weather you can take it out, you don't even know you're in a convertible. Cool, thanks Katie. Alright. Cool guys, let me show you the back space here. We've got the top down right now. Let me go ahead and pump the truck. Right down here you can open it up or from the key or from the unlock button inside, central locking. Let me show you the space here and the top's down right now. As you can see, you do have a small opening right here to put bags in, take bags out. But what's nice is they have kind of what I call the transformer feature where you can have the whole rear trunk and top move up and out of your way so you can get to your back storage. There you go. So you can pull out bags, weekend trips. Now the M4s or M series do come with true racing tires, Michelin Super Sports. You can see here you got the gel pack in case you get a flat. Cargo net. Pretty good space for a hardtop convertible. Pull that back down. Up here, just push the button. Lowers the top, lowers the trunk. Light comes back on. It's ready to drop. One thing about these, you can't put a bike rack on the back because the whole mechanism is balanced. Don't want to put any extra weight on it. Some of the upgraded features they've done to the M series here is you'll see the rear diffuser, wheel well diffuser, just a nice touch. Another look at these awesome wheels they put on here. Let me give you another shot from the outside. We'll move on to the interior. One thing that's nice, they do include the wind deflector with all their hardtop convertibles now with the 4 Series. Used to be an expensive accessory after the fact. It's nice as they store it right back behind the seats for you. Easy to get to, so if you have two passengers, maybe doing a long trip up the coast, up to the wine country, don't want to be all wind blown, and also you've got a dark carpeted rear deck here for luggage, a pet, something like that, if you don't want to scratch up your cup holders and your leather in the back seat. As you can see, you got air conditioning and heating with a power source, case the top's up. Easier access feature here on top, so you can move the seat forward. Also, this car did get longer and wider. So you've got more leg room, more shoulder width room in the back seat. So for four average adults, there's a great amount of room. Let's get to the front. One thing that's almost a must on these M series is the carbon fiber trim. Just a nice look. Really glows when the sun hits it. See, this one's got the Sakar orange interior. Now, let me show you the MSRP on this one. 
this one here we've got 2015 M4 convertible. You see your pace price there, over 72. A lot of standard equipment on these too. Driver's Assistance Plus, Active Driving Assistant, which is great for accident avoidance, Blind Spot Detection, Top View with the camera. I'll show you that in just a second. Executive Package, one of the major, most popular packages. Then you can see you get down to the real fun. Double clutch, M adaptive, 19 inch black wheels. There's a lot of standard equipment on these too, so definitely you guys can pause this anytime and check that out. But it's a bargain, guys. It's under 86 grand for the ultimate driving machine, top up or top down. 1724, 19 miles per gallon, but who cares? It's an M series. Here's your final production, Germany. Hope to go there one day. All right. A lot of adjustments with this car too, guys. As you do, you got to do with the steering. You got your steering here, suspension, engine attitude button, I'd love to call it. You can really turn into a monster. Park distance control's been on. And then there's your side front cameras, which are great. Activate that. You get to see down the street from the front bumper. That way, if you got a blind spot, can't see down the street, you don't have to put half your car out. You can just put the little bumper out about a foot out, and it looks both ways for you. There's some more of your carbon fiber, touchpad controller. The iDrive 4.2 version is amazing now, too, guys. Really good, quick voice commands, awesome. Let's go ahead and put it in reverse. There's your rear camera, and you can have the lines up for your driving direction obstacle warnings or you can head to your top view let's see here i'm gonna close this up there's your top view so we got cameras in the bottom of the side mirrors and the rear so that way parallel parking things like that it's great you can see on the right there you got your park distance control and you have got the m4 steering wheel napa leather extra thick you got the custom paddle shifters for the M series. Big gauges, easy to read. And look at that red line, 7,500 RPMs. Good old twin power technology. 426 horsepower, 406 foot pounds of torque. Putting the top up, basically you can do right here with this button. As as you can see, sorry, you got the neck warmers right here to activate those. So we do have those on the vehicle now. All right. Let's go ahead and turn this off. We'll put the top up. I'll show you how that looks. It takes just a little over 20 seconds, I think, to get the top up. It's always cool to watch. Can you imagine how long it took him to design that? There you go, guys. Hey buddy, let's show you the uh, additional space in the trunk now. Let's get this out of the way. So you can see we've actually got some pretty good amount of room here. You can put a set of golf clubs across there, just take the driver out of the bag first. Good storage. Let's close this up. Don't have to slam it. All right, let's give you a shot from the outside. Cool, thanks for watching guys. Share it with your other media sources. Send it to your friends, other BMW enthusiasts. Thanks. Have a good one.